What's up guys, this is Alan and in today's episode, well, I got another roof leak. And this house is actually the same house that I worked on just a month ago. Over there. Well, let's get started and see what's going on here. All right, so if you look at the picture on the screen, you can see how wet the wood is. There was water coming down the uh, air vent in the house and it was a lot of water like it wasn't just a few drops it was like a like a continuous uh, flow of water and it happened all of the sun just a month after I repaired another leak on this roof this is why it's very important to document your repairs before during and after because if you're working for somebody that doesn't know you well, it's kind of common sense to be suspicious because, I mean, I just repaired another leak just a month ago and then 30 days later, there's another leak. But you know, I've been working for these people for many years and they trust me. So, but regardless, if you work on roof leaks, extremely important to document your repairs. So that way, if there are any doubts, you can actually show the customer what's going on. But anyways, this is, what a new build gives you guys. Now the reason it's leaking, it not, it's not so much uh, material failure, is workmanship. Yes, just the way they put this on caused the leak to happen over the years. Now in my area, roof tiles, is, uh, it's a norm. Most houses have roof tiles just like this one right here. Now, when they finish a roof tiles, they look just like this one right here it looks nice it looks the gap is small right so good enough to uh, sell the house right well there's three problems with this design right here the first one is that gap is very small it will work for the first few years but as the water gets in there dirt will get in there leaves are gonna get in there and then eventually what's gonna happen is it will get stuck inside the uh, valley and it will not be able to flow down freely so the water will actually get blocked somewhere in this area and then instead of flowing down it will take the path of least uh, resistance and it will go to the sides and if you have a lot of water going at once well I mean you're gonna get a leak sooner or later now this is why I do not like to close the gaps uh, at the valleys like this I like to live at least about two inches so that way it's free and the water can flow freely so the second design flow besides the gap is the way they put this roof tiles up here now in order to get them close like this what they do is they get pieces of broken tiles to hold these tiles on top of the valley and if they don't do that they actually put an entire stupid tile right on top of the valley preventing the water from flowing down like it's supposed to I mean look at this you see the valley right there the water comes down and it hits this entire uh, tile right here and you can see the junk right here it's been accumulating over the years so let me take this one out over here this one was sitting right on top of it too now on top of all that look you got another one right in the way I mean how stupid is this I mean and sometimes what they do they get little pieces of uh, broken tiles and they put it under just to hold the tiles up like like over here look at this one right here that's a wedge they put on the top so that way the roof tiles stay flat on the surface I mean look at that how stupid is this but anyways this whole valley is just like this all the way down I mean this is what new builders are this is how they are building roofs guys so if you're buying a new house in a cookie cutter neighborhood that most likely has an HOA so people can tell you what to do with your house 
On top of that, you think you're getting a good deal? Well, this is exactly what you are getting. And you will not notice this because, for one, you were not here when they built the house and you will not notice until they actually, until you actually get a roof leak. And this is just the roof part of it. Imagine you're plumbing, imagine you're electric. I mean, come on. I would take an older house any day over a new house. So what I'm doing today is, if you look at the picture on the screen, we had a lot of water coming down the roof. And uh, anytime you have a roof leak, the first thing you need to do is, if you can get in the attic, that's, that's the best thing you can do. Get in the attic and see where the water is coming from. So it'll make it easier for you to identify where the roof leak is. Now, I could not really tell where the water was coming from. It was actually coming from in between the two by fours uh, right there and then running down and then got everything wet. There was no uh, wood damage. There was no drywall damage. It was just like, a, like it happened all of a sudden and it was just tons of water coming in at once. Roof leaks normally do not happen like that. Roof leaks, normally you get a few drops here and there because it's due to material fa failure, such as uh, felt paper, broken tiles, shingles, or whatever you have. But anyways, I got another design flaw because the first two were not enough. We still have to screw it up even worse. So let me show you over here. Now I cleared this one. This is where the actual leak is. So we're in this area, the water actually went on the sides and it got under the felt paper. And let me show you how it actually got under the felt paper. Now the way they do this, in my opinion, I'm not a master roofer guys, but guess what? My IQ is high enough to actually use common sense. So what they do here, they put the flashing, the metal first. Good. But you know what they did also? They put the felt paper right on top of the flashing. Look, look guys, right on top of the flashing. So if the water does not flow freely down like it's supposed to, and it then because of all the junk in the valley, you know what it did? It went to the sides. Now going to the sides is no big deal. This is why you have a rubberized uh, felt paper underneath it to actually, you know, waterproof your uh, roof. But then, the water actually got under the fell paper, right on top of your wooden decking. How smart is that? I mean, I don't know guys. If you're a roofer, comment below. Tell me what you think. If this was me flashing this area, and I can tell you I have never done a valley flashing like this, but I can tell you I can do it. Even if it was my first time, and I will use common sense. I will put some, um, ice and shield on the bottom first overlapping the entire area then what I would do is I would lay my felt paper down and then I would actually put my uh, flashing right on top of everything so if the water ever uh, got on the sides it will go right on top of the felt paper now here there is only one layer it's only wood on the bottom I already looked so what they did is they finished the felt paper right on top of the valley. And then I don't even think they even put any sealant underneath there. Nope, no sealant down there. So, yep, I can feel it, no sealant. I mean, I don't know guys. This is what a new house looks like here. Um, well, nowadays, all new houses. Um, but yeah, so if I was, Doing a new valley, that's how I would do it. And on top of that, ice shield on the bottom, then felt paper, then the flashing on top, and then the next thing I would do is I would actually put a bead of a sealant all the way around uh, at the edge of the flashing going all the way to the top, just as a reassurance. And I can tell you, there's no way that thing is going to leak. To me, this doesn't make any sense because if the water doesn't go anywhere besides down, it will actually get under the felt paper right on top of the wood. And that's what happened here. So this thing was so con congested with n dirt, mud, and everything that it completely blocked the valley. And then as it rained, the water just, I think it went on that side. It just completely went underneath the, uh, uh, the felt paper and right where the uh, two pieces of uh, plywood meet, the seam, that's where the water got through. Um, I mean, this is just stupid. 
this could have been prevented but you know um, it's just the way it is oh another thing check this out let me show you this is a bonus of the sign flaw all right so I just removed a towel look look this flashing that goes underneath the roof tiles at the edge right here I think they call it the drip flashing I have no idea what the uh, proper name is but it actually they cut it right into the valley flashing so not only the water comes down whatever water gets in here then it pulls in this area because there was a bunch of roof tiles in here on top of that then it hits a stupid flashing right here look it comes down it hits a stupid flashing right here and then it just goes all the way along the edge of the roof how smart is that and you know what this flashing right here oh it has some weep holes in there but it's full of mud so yeah this is what I'm working on today so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the tiles off around the edges here I'm gonna clean this valley then I'm gonna cut the tiles back so that way there's a clear path for the water to flow down and if there's any debris in the area it will just come down like it's supposed to I'm gonna cut the stupid piece over here right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend it inward so that way if the water comes here this will actually prevent the water from just splashing that way um, but yeah I mean this is unbelievable so you know I show the customer what's going on and they understood so um, but I didn't even have to show them because they, they trust me to do a good job and they, they trust me that my diagnosis is accurate let's go yeah I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, moves won't have it till I'm doomed. All right, so I got the whole valley clean. And uh, so this uh, flashing, it goes back all the way to here. So that's a good about 8 inches, 10 inches overlap for the felt paper. So what I'm gonna do to uh, fix this not permanently because this is not ideal this is not what I want to do what I would have wanted to do is remove everything here on both sides cut this junk right here and then take the valley out to be honest and then redo the whole thing and then do it the right way but doing it the right way is not cheap um, and I really feel bad about charging these people money especially since just a month ago I repaired another leak on the on the roof so what I told him is uh, this mess here lasted for about 12 15 years I don't remember how old the house is and um, I mean it lasted that long without any leaks so now that I'm actually um, re rectifying the issues and to keep it on the cheap I'm gonna just seal um, along the uh, flashing all the way down just take my uh, roof ceiling underneath the felt paper right here and then just just work my way back all the way down just to just a bead just like this and um, anyways just go all the way down on both sides and then pat it down so that way it won't lift and it will create some type of seal where the water is not gonna go under the felt paper um, but just with clearing the area and then cutting the tiles back I think it'll be all right um, I told him just to save your money and then once the roof is about you know 20 years old or so to start thinking about replacing it the repair I'm doing today will last easily many years um, I don't think it will ever be an issue again until the actual felt paper starts uh, breaking down just from being old age. Uh, you can see a lot of dirt over it so this has had water go under it for many years. Um, but yeah this is the best I can do it right now to keep it cheap and um, it will work. And then the other valley is like I said earlier I'm just gonna go ahead move the towels back a little bit cleaning out and then just leave things as is because um, 
to save them money. I told them it's not worth it um, to redo all the valleys. Uh, especially with the house being, you know, what, 12, 15 years old, um, just save your money and then um, just do the whole roof all at once. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. Alright guys, so this side is done. All I gotta do now is just clean up and uh, I'm gonna have to clean the other valleys too. I'm thinking about cutting the tiles back a little bit. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. But anyways, um, this is what it looks like. I reused a lot of the tiles that were here already cut and I just moved them around. Um, normally, I would have uh, started with uh, new tiles and then ran a chalk line over there all the way down then mark it and then cut the, all the tiles straight. Uh, usually when I do uh, valleys like this I like to bring the tiles all the way to here and then just have them dump the water right in the middle. But you know it's close enough for this uh, repair since I had to use uh, reuse a lot of the tiles. Um, but this is what it looks like. Now when the water comes down the valley, it's going to be able to just dump right in the middle and fl flow freely all the way down. And it shouldn't go under the uh, fell paper anymore. So, I mean, even though before it was all screwed up, um, you know, it lasted over 10 years. That's to show you that even if you do something terrible uh, roof related it usually takes a long time before you actually see any issues um, but let me show you something else real quick before we get done with this repair I'm gonna have to open this up right here too because you can see all that water from these two valleys come down comes down here and then it dumps all the way in here so this is another future leak in here but anyways, let me show you. So the water is supposed to come that, down this way. And this is how uh, smart the roofers are. If you pay attention to the roof tiles, and the water is supposed to go in that little valley right there. Now look, look at this right here, guys. I mean, look at that. How stupid is this? I mean, I really don't understand, you know, what they were thinking. But all the water, from the entire roof comes down through here and then obviously it's not gonna go over the roof tiles it's actually going right under it and you can see this area here is just full of junk and I mean it's just unbelievable guys so I'm gonna I'm gonna remove some of these tiles right here and see what it looks like down there um, but yeah, that's as good as he, uh, you know, as he gets right now, especially since I'm not charging for this. 
so let me finish up with the rest and then we'll talk about pricing and how much I'm charging all right guys so I'm done finally uh, that job took me about five and a half hours uh, it took a little longer than expected simply because uh, the other uh, valleys they were all jacked up and initially all I was gonna do was just clean them up and put the towels back up but you know what if I did that it would have just happened again in the future so I didn't want to risk it and then these people are really good customers so you know I didn't, I'm not gonna charge an extra for that so what I did is I took all the tiles off again and then the, clear the valleys to make sure that there weren't any broken roof tiles they didn't ride over it um, I, I cut some of them I didn't cut all of them it may not look they may not look as nice as the one that I did even though that one doesn't look the nicest but it's functional it will not leak um, I found a few other issues too where the uh, um, where the flashing uh, right down the roof was completely blocked off by uh, by a roof tile or um, the uh, drip uh, flashing so I had to cut those off to allow the water to come out flow down just naturally but yeah it just took a lot longer than expected just a lot of manual labor just picking up those tiles cutting them moving them around it's just it's just hard labor guys anyway so for those of you interested in how much I charged uh, I charged $850 I gave them a break because I mean I felt really bad they just got a, another leak fixed last month I mean it's not my fault but you know I wanted to give them a break and uh, normally a job like that especially with all the manual labor involved I would have charged probably about $1,500 and uh, I would have actually taking a little more time to cut all the roof tiles throughout in all the valleys and just make them straight and look nice and all that good stuff just for looks um, but you know I didn't charge an extra so it is what it is it's fine so they're good customers I've been working for them for many years now and I've made a lot of money you know from them um, like I said guys always make sure you document your repairs take pictures before during and after Explain to the customer as as best as you can, you know, where the leak came from, how and how you fixed it. Um, so that way they know what they are paying for. Anyways, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I will see you next time.